can I connect a high voltage solar panel to charge a 12 volt battery? You know that most of the panels we have in the market today, they are high voltage panels and they are high wattage. Some of them are 450 watts, uh, 500 watts, 600 watts, and their voltage, that is their VOC, their open circuit voltage or their maximum power voltage is uh, always high. And if you have this kind of panel and you have a 12 volt battery, can I use this panel to charge the 12 volt battery? The answer is yes. You can use a high voltage panel to charge a 12 volt battery, but it depends on the type of controller you're using. If you use an MPPT charge controller, it will give you a better result, a better performance. If you use a PWM charge controller, uh, the efficiency, the charging efficient, efficiency will be low. In fact, there are some batteries like the lead acid batteries. If you connect a high voltage panel to the charge controller to charge a 12 volt battery, you will see that the battery voltage will jump from even 12 volts or 11 volts. It will jump to 13.5 volts or even 14 volts. And once it gets to that 13.5 volts or uh, 13 volts, uh, the charge controller will be sensing that the battery is full. So the charge controller will not send high current to the battery again. So that battery will not be fully charged during the day. In fact, it will not be charged. And that is why uh, most times uh, uh, during the day, the system will function like those who are using 300 watts panel to charge. You hear some, they will be complaining that during the day, the, the system will be working. But at night, the system will shut down. It's shutting down because during the day, uh, it was the charge controller was not able to efficiently charge the battery. Now, I'm going to show you practically how these two different charge controllers behave when you connect a high voltage uh, solar panel to the charge controller to charge a 12 volt battery. Remember, it's a 12 volt battery. So I have a Trina solar panel and the maximum power of this solar panel is 500 watts. The VMP, that is the maximum power voltage is 33.3 volts. The uh, maximum power current IMP is 13.03 amps. The open circuit voltage, VOC, is 40.1 volts, 40.1 volts. And the short circuit current is 15.86 amps, 15.86 amps. So these are the terminals from the solar panel. Remember, when you're dealing with solar panels, if you connect them in series or in parallel, that is, you have many solar panels uh, and you're you know, working with the solar panels, you have to wear, you have to protect yourself and you have to be very careful because at that point they are very dangerous. You're having high voltage, having high current. So you need to be very careful when you are working with the solar panels. So I have my <coughs> negative test probe positive. So the voltage is 35.13 volts. That is 5.13 volts. So I'm going to connect it to a PWM charge controller, and we will see what the PWM charge controller is sending to the battery. All right. This is what the PWM charge controller is sending to the battery. 10.10 amps. 10.10 amps. Let's check the voltage from the PV terminal. This is the PV terminal, positive, negative. What we are having is 13.29 volts. 13.29 volts. It's not 13.4. Let me check the battery voltage. The battery voltage is 13 volts. And monitor the voltage from here. So I'm going to connect this. Remember, it's 10, it's still is fluctuating. We're having 10 amps. 10 amps. So I'll connect it now to the MPPT charge controller. That's the, this is a hybrid inverter with an inbuilt MPPT solar charge controller. Okay. The controller is speaking. 
can see 13, it's now 14, 15, 16. 16 amps. Having 17. So you can now see the difference. Difference of 7 amps. The PWM charge controller gave us 10 amps. But the MPPT is giving us uh, 17 amps. Difference of 7 amps. So uh, if you have a high voltage panel, that is you have a 12 volt battery, whether it is a lead acid battery, uh, like the tubular uh, battery, or the gel battery and you just want to use because you have a 12 volt inverter and you just want to use a single unit to you know power your basic home uh, appliances uh it is not advisable for you to use a high voltage panel now this one is even able to charge this battery there that's a pwm can send up to 10 amps <clears throat> to the battery because this is a lithium battery but some lead acid batteries like i told you earlier you once you connect you see the voltage will increase to about 13 point something volts and the charge controller will stop if you use your clamp meter you will see that no current is going to the battery because the charge controller is sensing that the battery is fully charged so it will not send uh, current to the uh, <clears throat> battery again so if you are you have a high voltage panel a high voltage panel uh, maybe 300 watts, 200 watts, uh, 450, 500, 600, and you have a single unit of 12 volts battery, I advise you go for an MPPT charge controller. The MPPT charge controller will give you a better result, better efficiency, better charging current than the PWM charge controller. You can, if you want to use the PWM charge controller, like the video I made yesterday, you should use a 12 volt panel the 12 volt panel the 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 voltage of the 12 volt panel is almost close to the battery bank that is 12 volt is close to 12 volts so but if you are using a high uh, voltage panel to charge a 12 volt battery with a pwm charge controller it will not give you you know better charging and that is why most of you you'll find out that uh at night your battery will just shut down but your charge controller is okay the battery is okay the inverter is okay but the system will just shut down why you are using a high voltage panel 300 watts 200 watts 600 watts 500 watts you are using that panel to charge a 12 volt battery with a pwm charge controller so it will not give you a better charging efficiency rather go for an mppt charge controller like this inverter is a one kva a one kilowatt uh, hybrid inverter it has an inbuilt mppt charge controller so you can just connect uh, i think the maximum uh, 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 pv input power for this uh, inverter is 600 watts so you can connect your 500 watt panel your 450 watt panel or your 300 watt panel to this hybrid inverter and it will charge your battery efficiently but if you want to use uh, a non-hybrid inverter, you need an external charge controller. You can use an external MPPT charge controller, you know, to give you uh, better performance. So when you are charging a 12 volt battery with a high voltage panel, go for an MPPT charge controller. Like this one, the PWM charge controller is charging with 10 amps, but you cannot compare it. Difference of seven amps is something, is something. Thanks for watching.